quick and easy cards for Easter using simple die cuts and the supplies you have on hand. Coming up next on Catherine Paper Art. Today I am making some Easter cards. I have never made Easter cards before, uh, so this is a first for me. And I am using the um, Pocket Full of Happiness Summer Floral Layering Dies, along with some uh, products from the Greetery. I'm using the Rejoice Word Die, as well as the Bunny Kisses. And uh, unfortunately, I don't have an Easter word die. I thought I did. I was sure that I ordered one, but um, I don't seem to have it. So I might just go with uh, happy and then stamp out Easter if I even have that. So anyway, um, right now I have got these pocket full of happiness um, summer flower layering dies here that I have turned into little Easter egg branches and I'm going to cut out this bunny out of some felted paper in white. I'm going to give him a little bit of a pink hue. So I will do that and be right back. So I did find that I have an Easter die. Um, it's not really a shadow die. It's um, part of a stencil set and uh, the stencil creates oh, a shadow, I guess. So I put my stencil in my die cutting machine and I kind of embossed it, so to speak, and I cut around that. So that's how I got my shadow die. So anyway, it's, it's a little busy. Um, but I like how it came out. So that's my first card. I want to point out too that I did this rabbit in gray card stock instead of the um, flocked suede paper uh, because that just wasn't showing up enough uh, against this busy background. So I did the gray card stock with a darker gray shadow line and I think he comes out much, much easier to read. So I finished my second card, and it's um, it's a glimmer card. I used the Spellbinders Just a Note Hello Glimmer Plate. Only I didn't use the Hello, obviously. And I used the Rejoice Word Die and Shadow, although you can really hardly see the shadow. I used a pink vellum, um, and that is from the Greetery. I think that came out pretty. I matted it with a purple and a white uh, mat. And I popped it up with some scrap cardstock. So that's card number two. Now on to card three. Okay, that finishes off the third and final card. And I made this just into a spring card, a happy spring. Um, it just didn't really work out for Easter, only because of the sentiment. And uh, anyway, it's it's better for spring. So that's the three cards that I made, two Easter and one spring. And um, I hope you liked the video. And if you did, please give us the thumbs up. It's a little it's a little untimely, um, given that Easter is this Sunday. I, I thought um, it was further out into April. It's usually closer to Passover, but um, at any rate, this was a simple um, card making exercise, just using supplies that I had, using scraps for the die cuts, simple and um, very quick and easy. I didn't do any anything to the die cuts. I just cut them. I didn't ink them or um, use any paper tools. I, I just uh, I just really just cut them out. I mean I did use a little bit of you know um, colored pencil and um, wink of Stella on his little egg and I 
gave him some you know, rosy cheeks, a pink nose and ears. And same with the velvet bunny here. Um, but other than that, I really didn't do a whole lot. And, um, I mean, this is a glimmer panel, but truthfully, I had glimmered this a long time ago. <laughs> and uh, I, I Copic colored it, Copic marker colored it a long time ago also. So really all I had to do was mount it and die cut a sentiment for it. So it's kind of a cheater card. That's really an extra card anyway. I only intended to make two Easter cards. And this could kind of be an Easter card, I guess. But anyway, so I hope you like the video, as I said. And um, I look forward to doing the next video. Thank you for watching.